Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this video, we will see how to use Studio Sessions in Bluebeam Studio. Let's see how to use Studio Sessions in Bluebeam. After opening the Bluebeam Review Desktop app, go to the Studio panel. You can access Studio Sessions by signing into Studio with your BBID. Under the Sessions tab, you will find your Not Joined and Joined Studio Sessions under separate tabs. Left-click to open your desired session and start collaborating. Or right-click to access the menu where you can also open a session. Copy the session ID like this one to invite team members, as well as manage email notifications for session updates or remove the session. Let's open this session to see what you can do inside the studio session. Wait for the session to load, and here it is. At the bottom, you can track changes to your session by yourself or your invited team members, including who joined or left the session. Right above, under the Documents tab, you can access the PDFs added to this session by simply clicking the file names. You can also annotate or mark up your drawings, and all your updates will save to session files automatically. From the exit option at the top, you can leave the session to go back. Now here, click the plus icon to create or join sessions. If you click the Join option, you will be asked to enter the session ID to join your own session or those created by your team members. Let's create a new session. In the Start Studio Session dialog box, give your session a unique name you can easily recall later. Now, add your desired files to the session by clicking the Add button below. Let's add a sample PDF drawing to see how. You can also select your drawing after adding it to the session to remove or reorder if you want. Under the Options tab below, you can set permissions for session attendees. If you restrict the attendees by email address, they cannot join sessions manually by using the session ID. You can also set session expiry to automatically finish the session at a defined date and time. Now, click OK to create a new session. Wait for the Sessions window to load and your newly created session will appear here. The newly created session will be joined automatically, and you will be asked to invite session attendees. Let's see how to invite a team member using an email address. Type your team member's email address to invite to the session. No one can join the session using a session ID as we restricted this condition while creating the session. Now click the check and include emails button below. Before proceeding, ensure you enter the right email address or delete the mistaken ones. Now click the Invite Participants button below. And now your invitation has been sent to your team member to join the session. Let's open a drawing we added while creating this session. You can also add more drawings to the session later by clicking the Add button. After opening your drawing, you can start annotating, add comments, or use measurement tools. For example, let's apply the rectangle markup to this drawing region. Now you can see and track changes made to the drawing under the record section of the Studio panel. Remember that the file is not opened locally. The studio icon alongside the drawing title shows that it's saved on a studio session to be accessed anywhere and anytime. If you close the drawing tab, all your changes and updates will be saved automatically and remain there after you leave the session and come back to join later. After joining the session again, wait for it to load, then open your drawing and your recent annotation will be there with all the records of changes and updates in the studio panel. Oh, we just drift the rectangle, and you can see the new activity log at the end of the record. You can also check your notifications and pending tasks in separate tabs alongside the record tab. From the settings button at the top, you can also update or change permissions defined while creating this session. Leave the session once you are done collaborating with your team members. You and your team can collaborate effectively using the studio sessions in real time. Isn't it interesting? This is it for today.
For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with brighter graphics, digitizing construction since 2003.